Sean Bryan here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today's video is going to be about gear. There's so much that we can talk about. I'm gonna keep making these videos and put them in a playlist so there's one place that you can find the whole comprehensive list of the gear that we're using out here. I'm not doing any detailed product reviews. I wanna take you through some of the quality gear that I found through trial and error. There's no sponsorship here. All of this stuff is stuff that I use on a daily basis, and it usually means that I made the wrong choice three or four times before I found the good stuff. So let's get into it. So folks, it starts with creating a go bag. See, our gear is gonna ebb and flow. We end up getting too much stuff, whether we're overlanding, van life, tiny campers, and then we have to downsize. So I like to start with a core of gear that comes with me no matter where I go, where, whether I'm with the teardrop camper or not. So get yourself a small size go bag. I like to stick to the rules of survival or backpacking. It's gotta be lightweight and multi-use. So I store my essentials in here. It has waist straps to weigh it, wear it like a day pack or a waist pack. It has shoulder straps, so this is my hiking book bag. As long as I'm not overnighting, this is the bag I use for all of my hiking when I'm out camping. It's got a little creel strap that you can put on it to carry it like luggage or use when you're packing it. Um, it's very comfortable and it's a perfect size to carry all of my essentials. I even have a miniature go bag that I strap to it and that's for Ripple. That has all of Ripple's essentials. So the first tool for the go bag for me is a multi-tool. I've had a million and one of the cheap ones. Those are good to throw around in different places, but get yourself a good one that's gonna stay with you for your outdoor activities. Leatherman makes an excellent tool. They have great warranties on them. I've used them for years. I like the Wave and the Wave Plus. They seem to be the best price for the best tool. You got a couple blades, pliers, wire cutters, saws, a million and one things that take the place of a tool bag when you're out in the woods, whether you're at a campground or not. So in addition to the Leatherman, I like to throw in a couple inexpensive knives. This is a cheap little Swiss Army knife, and this is one that I try to keep on my breast pocket here. It's, uh, it's made by Jealous. I'll put a link to all of this stuff in the description, but this one that I found is that perfect harmony between quality and price. You can spend over $100 on a knife, and that can add up really fast. So to find one that's inexpensive, that's high quality, is uh, always a good score. So I can save the blades on my Leatherman by using this larger knife for certain things, cutting cordages around camp. Now, since I have all these knives, the next thing that you should look at is some first aid kits. This one here is nice and light. It's a go pouch. That goes in here. This one goes in my teardrop. So this one has a waterproof case. My advice for these is buy a set kit like this, but then doctor it up. Take some good Band-Aids, put them in a Ziploc, throw your nail clippers and tweezers and scissors, things you might need in this pack. And in the Go Pack, you can add uh, Band-Aids and stuff as well, but I always add Benadryl. You know, Tylenol can save you from a headache. Benadryl can save somebody's life when you're out here. You never know uh, bee sings, food allergies. So the next thing that I think is important is lighters, 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 matches, and more lighters. Now, um, I have these three on me right now. I get a 12 pack. This one is like a torch style with an electric striker. These are your standard Bix. Get some good matches too. They light when it's colder. Sometimes when it's very cold, lighters struggle. I have a stick lighter that I keep in the teardrop. Um, that does a good job if your stove's not lighting or if you have a lantern or a, you know, a fire, gas fire pit, stuff like that. You can't have too many lighters. I stick them in all my pockets and fill the go bag with them. Uh, these can save your life. Whether you're a hiker or not, um, this is one of the most essential survivalist tools that you can have. So I throw them in as well. Another small that I stick in this side pouch and it stays here is a small bit of paracord. Sometimes I throw bank line in here. 
This may only be a convenience for you, tying down your awnings, canopies, hanging up a bear bag or something. But the reason I like this paracord is you can actually strip it down to tons of individual threads. If you needed to, you could use it as fishing line or different things. It's very, very handy. Some of you might be thinking, you know, Brian, I just go to campgrounds. I don't need to pack like a crocodile Dundee here. But this stuff is cheap. It's small. And when you fill this little go pack with it, it just comes with you. It's easy. You never leave anything behind. And I think you'll be shocked how many times you actually use these essential tools. If you're not using them, they're a great insurance policy because you never know when something's going to happen. The next thing I throw in is one of these little backpack or silverware cases, straws, chopsticks, sporks. You can stick a couple plastic utensils in here. Um, it's great when you're going on a little hike or things like that. I have a full silverware set with the teardrop, but you'd be surprised how many times we stop on the road and get takeout or something. And uh, why waste the disposable uh, silverware? So two items that some people leave behind is cotton bandanas. This is just an incredible thing to have. It's, it's convenient. There's some first aid and survival uses, but uh, a lot of times when you're out here, you need a cloth and to have like a reusable one that you can launder and bring back is an excellent convenience. Go. Okay, folks, so like I said, I'm going to put these all in a playlist so I don't have to cover everything today. But the end of the essentials for me is some high quality lighting options. You need a high quality headlamp. I'd love to do a full product review on this. There's plenty out there. The Petzl Active Core with the add on Active Core battery is one of the greatest uh, outdoor pieces of gear that I own. It's comfortable, the battery lasts forever, it's rechargeable with a USB, it's highly water resistant. If you look at the reviews on this thing, the only negative reviews are some people complain that you have to open it to charge it. This uh, Active Core pack is sold separately, I recommend that too. The reason you have to open it to charge it, which takes all of one second, is because there's a gasket there. So it's a more weather resistant option than putting the charging port on the outside. I can't recommend this enough. It really is the best headlamp that I've ever used. If you're gonna get this in the battery pack, I also recommend this guy. The headlamp slides in, it provides a durable case, but you can push the button from the outside. So you can use this as a lantern, you can use the little piece of elastic that comes off the bottom and hang it in a tent or in your teardrop. Um, it's really, a, it's a pretty pr impressive, well-engineered product here. This is a magnifier and a diffuser, so it actually gives you more light off that headlamp and, uh, you know, multi-purpose is always good. Uh, let's see where to go from here. This is a little Gold's Ear Lantern. You can use it as a flashlight. You can use it as a lantern. I don't know if you could see this in the uh, brightness. There's no batteries. So just like this one with the battery pack, this little USB flips down and you just plug it in and it charges. If you need a charge, there's a female USB here. So you can actually get a decent amount of charge onto your phone. If this is in your bag and you're using a GPS or something, I have a short little charging cable. So I view this as a good insurance policy in addition to being a great little lantern that I use all the time. I use this flashlight from Gearlight. Wasn't very expensive. I use rechargeable batteries in it and it slides. So you can direct the light a really long ways away. That's always a convenient thing to have and they give you this great pouch. And the last and the fanciest, you've seen it before. This is a solar powered, it's charging right now because I'm out here in the sun. This is a solar powered battery from Goal Zero that's got a flashlight, a floodlight. You can crank it if uh, the solar's not working. High speed charger that magnetically snaps on uh, if you want to charge it up. And the female USB, there's a decent sized battery in here. So I always leave this out, charge it. 
it takes forever. This isn't a huge solar panel, but I actually charge the little lantern off of this and you can charge your headlamp, you know, not if it's down to zero, but you can top it off using this solar panel as well. So I really love these options that all fit inside the go bag. So the last thing that we'll talk about today is the, these batteries from Pale Blue Earth. They are the coolest batteries that I've ever seen. You guys know that I'm a battery nerd. You can get them in nine volt Ds, Cs. These are double A's, these are triple A's. It's a lithium chemistry battery. It works down to about negative four. And if you're colder than that, I've tried this, you can just hold it in your hand for a little bit and it warms up to be able to be used. It comes with this little four way charger. You don't need AC with that big plug-in battery charger. Every single battery has a micro USB. So this little charging lead does four batteries at a time. They charge extremely quick. They're 1.5 volts. So I'm going to do an entire review of these batteries in another video because there's so much you need to know about these. But this one pack takes the place of 4,000 disposable batteries. So why would I throw these in my go pack? my radios, my flashlights, my lighting devices, all of this stuff because of the DC charger charges off my solar extremely quickly. So whether it's a CO2 alarm or my thermostat on the camper or some device that I'm bringing with me like a GPS, for me this is a life-saving measure. It's so light and small, I throw it in the go pack. Guys, I'm gonna, like I said, make that playlist. If you like this sort of stuff, like and subscribe. Throw me a comment to add to the discussion. I'm sure I left a bunch of stuff out. So I'll keep making these videos because these were the videos that helped me out when I'm uh, getting ready to plan a trip. That's what I'm watching on YouTube. So I hope you appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you next time.